Bad news for those who liked their news weird and screamed at them, Alex Jones has been deplatformed. These moves began with, I think that might be Alex Jones after he lost a bet. These moves began when Alex Jones recently shared his thoughts about Robert Mueller. I look at that guy and he's a sack of crap. That's a demon I will take down or I'll die trying. So that's it, gonna happen. We're gonna walk out in the square, politically, high noon and he's gonna find out when he makes a move, man. Make the move first and then it's gonna happen. It's not a, it's not a joke, it's not a game. It's the real world. Mm, politically, you're gonna get it, or I'm gonna die trying, bitch. And then it all happened very quickly. First, Stitcher banned all Jones's podcasts for harassment. Then, Apple banned his shows from iTunes for hate speech. Then, Facebook banned him for glorifying violence and dehumanizing language. YouTube banned the InfoWars account for hate speech and harassment. And then, those companies were joined by Spotify, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Mailchimp, and YouPorn. You think I'm kidding about you, Porn? I'm not. Then again, Jones is a pretty sexy guy. <laughs> but Jones isn't finished yet. His stuff's still available on Twitter, on Periscope, on Instagram, on Snapchat. The InfoWars app is also still available on both Apple and Android phones. And of course, he's managed to stay in the good graces of the InfoWars website, where Jones is probably, even as we speak, showcasing his characteristic restraint. You'll never, never defeat the human spirit. You'll never defeat God. You'll never win. Never, never, ever. So rejoice to God Almighty for this animating contest of liberty.